Taylor again. Thought uh, we'd uh, stop in and give you another update. So last week we talked about uh, potentially keeping the bus right behind us here. And uh, so we talked it over with my parents. and For now. Mom. For now. Yeah, my dad, uh, yeah, we're, we're going to keep it for now. My dad uh, made me an offer. We're going to put together a, uh, a staging location for the bus here on, on his property. And uh, according to their stipulations, and then um, he's going to order some dirt to bring in, build a little platform, and then uh, I'm going to buy the rock, bring in a lay on top of that, and we're going to build this little platform for the bus to sit on. And we'll have us uh, a little homestead here on uh, my parents' property here in East Texas. Uh, we we'll set it up uh, with some solar. We we'll rebuild solar back into um, the bus. You know? It's already built into. Yeah. It needs to be plugged in. Yeah, it's already fitted for the solar. We did that um, last year initially when we got when we got the bus. Then we took out all the solar panels and the batteries and put them in the van. So. So we're gonna have to uh, to get more solar panels, and battle batteries. Nah. Well, we gonna move the. We need one battery, don't we? We gonna move the batteries. No, we're gonna move all three of the batteries that are in the van to the bus. Oh, you're gonna move those here. And then we're gonna buy some new batteries for the traveler. Okay. Well, it said details, details. <laughs> those details are important. They are what makes your computer run. Yeah. My point is, we're gonna have batteries in both the bus. And yeah. the van. Yep. Yeah. So, how we gonna, however we make that happen, it's. Uh, and we'll detail. have 400 watts of solar on both. Yeah. And so we'll be implementing that plan sometime here in the near future, um, not immediately, but uh, but soon. And uh, so that's that's where we stand on that. Making a trip to College Station this weekend for a day. It's a day, day trip, uh, probably an overnight trip. It's not going to be a uh, a long-term trip. Just taking uh, not recording anything either. We're just taking a toy to the grandbaby. Yeah, we're just taking a toy to the grandbaby to get it out of the van because you know it's a little tight in there with this toy in it. I might let her play with my phone. Yeah, she likes phones. And you know, one year old. I'm not mm -hmm. quite one year old. No, but almost. She's eight months old. Yeah, so. There we go. And on the uh, publishing side, we've got, uh, I got a uh, note from my publisher uh, this past week. The book that we've got coming out later in the year, a book on cryptocurrencies. And so I've got some information i got to send back to them to get the editorial process going and to get the book production process going. And so I'll be sending that off to them later today. Cryptocurrencies are changing social media. And so I think that's a better title than what I was working with. Um, and that book should come out later in the year. I'm looking for launch team members. So people, anyone interested in reading the book and offering a review on Amazon uh, for the launch date. And Comment below. And helping me spread the word and all of that about the book launch. Um, Feel free to comment, and I'll be in touch. Uh, I'll need your email address, but don't put that in, in the comments. You'll get all kinds of spam. So um, I'll, I'll connect with you in some way, and we can, uh, we can exchange the necessary information. I'll, I'll do all my communications with my book launch team through email. So, but let me know you're interested if you're if you're interested and you have an interest in cryptocurrencies or social media or how those two interact with each other.
Hey, don't forget to hit the like button if you like what we're doing and uh, you know, share us with your friends and uh, you know, subscribe. It helps us out, grows the channel, and uh, just lets us know that you love what we're doing. See you next week. Ciao.